Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. People always say that um, God is my creator, so he owes me everything. Like food, supply, uh, house, a car, whatever you want. You're totally right. He owes you. Yeah, totally right. But do you ever please God? You never. So you spend your time by, oh, have a beautiful house, have a beautiful car, have a beautiful children. You never said you, you're serving a, an awesome God. Never. You don't have time for him, right? And then you want him to give you everything you want. It doesn't work like that. If he is your creator, so you own him praise, worship, and then please him instead of pleasing your friends. You don't have time to do anything for God, but you have time to please your friends. Every time they ask you to do something, you did. You did. And then you... And then you said, he is your creator. He's your master. So master deserves worship, praise, and then pleasing him. Check your heart. You will never do anything for God. So this morning, you have to start doing something for God. And there were some good people doing this before. I'm not going to tell you the name. So you have to go now on Genesis chapter 6. And then start by verse 8 to 11. You will see. The world was like that before. Like people pleasing friends, do whatever they want. But there was someone, please God. When everyone was like um, pleasing friends and then do something bad. But there was someone, please God. And we still exist because of him. Because of him. We still exist. Because it is something good. He spent his time by pleasing God. But if God is your master, you have to please him, worship him, give him praise, and then talk about him. So you always said God owes you what but you you don't own him anything. And he's your creator, right? So you don't own him anything. You are so wrong. You have to do something this morning. You have to start by pleasing God, worship him, praising him. Stop adore your friend. Stop adore your car. Stop adore your beautiful house. Stop. Adore him. He deserves it. It's all about him. He died for you. He died for you. Please God. Please God today. Change your direction. Change it. Change your direction. Because you're going in a bad way. The good way is to follow Jesus' lead and then read the Bible, and then apply them. Because people would do that, the journey is fulfilled with blessing. They have so many blessings. But if you don't do anything good for God, so why don't we want him to please you? He won't please you like that. So start today. Go with Genesis 6 and then start by, by verse 8 to 11 and then you will see. I'm not going to tell you the name so you will see with your own eyes. Okay? I love you. Have a good day. Be blessed and be safe.